What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about Alim McNeil out of NC State, uh, D tackle, uh, nose really. Uh, he's 6'2 and 320 pounds. Um, and the 6'2 part is actually kind of awesome, especially if you use it right. Uh, having a shorter nose tackle allows them to get a little bit better leverage, and that really just gives you a pretty big advantage when it comes to defeating uh, offensive linemen. Uh, the lower you get, typically the more success you're going to have. But unfortunately, he doesn't really use it correctly yet. Um, hopefully a D-line coach can kind of help him with that because it is a huge advantage that he's just not implementing fully. Um, but what he is right now, I, I do think he's a solid player for what you're expecting out of a nose. Uh, I wouldn't say he's very athletic, but he's strong as hell and you can't move him. So that's exactly what you want out of a news a, a news tackle, a nose tackle. <laughs> um, he gets his hands inside and doesn't move. He eats up blocks pretty effectively. Uh, he's pretty cool in the run game. Um, he's not really going to give you very much in terms of pass rush. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily say that he has like the most control in the world. Because typically with nose tackles, what you like is them to get their hands on them and like they kind of control a gap entirely. Uh, he just doesn't he just doesn't get moved and that kind of controls a gap. But what I would like instead is for you to be able to get a hold of the center or the guard, whoever is going to be trying to block you that play. It's usually going to be the center, and I want you to basically. Get your hands on his chest like this and like move him to the side, like look over his shoulder trying to find the running back and then get rid of him and go make the tackle if they try to run up A-gap. He doesn't really do that. He just kind of stays in the way and doesn't get moved so you can't run up A-gap that way, which it still works. Um, but and, and he does what you're expecting of him. Now, I will say I wouldn't... I will say he's not super athletic, but he is a little more athletic than some of the other nose tackles. So he can probably play a little bit of one tech, not just straight up zero. Um, he does have a little bit of a spin move. It's not good. It's very slow. But it is something he tries to do. Uh, the attempt is there. So that's that's a thing. Um, and also, like, he has kind of a sometimes motor. It seems like in certain games, uh, in most games, he, he's kind of content to just kind of eat up blocks. But then against, like, bad opponents like Liberty... He um he really tries to take it to him and try to take advantage of him and uh, try to power through and make plays, but he doesn't do that against a tougher opponent, so it's it's a little weird. Um, but that just kind of is what it is. Uh, but again, what you're expecting of him is to just be in the middle, be in a gap, and just eat up blocks. And if that's all you're asking him to do, then he's fine. Uh, I'd probably take him out of uh, pass rushing downs. At a, at a passing plays, like third and long, stuff like that, I'd probably take him out and put someone else at one tech. But, um, yeah, man, if, if you just want him to plug A-gap, he can do that for you. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.